hi guys welcome back to another video and today we have our april tbr so i am what is today the ace i am eight days late of getting this list up which is still better than what i did uh last month for my march tbr um but this tbr is going to be a little bit different and I'm going to try to keep this as uh, short and sweet as possible because I have a lot of books to go through. Um, so, this will be my first year participating in the Owls TBR. And it is hosted by, I think her name is Bo. I can't remember her name. But I will leave her link in the description below so that you can get... Um, more accurate information about the the owl so because i'm still not quite sure how this works out and you know all the rules and stuff are below but there are still some questions that um i have that are answered uh below that i could probably ask the the girl who started this um this reading readathon is very detailed and very amazing. So if you are a Harry Potter lover, um, Fantastic Beast, like this Crimes of Grinwald, like all of that, this is a TBR that you would want to participate in. This year is the third year of the Owls. This is my first year participating in them and I'm excited because I just found out about them this year. Um, it's probably because I've been watching a lot more YouTube. So, I am going to give you my TBR with my handy dandy wand that I got at my wizard run that was hosted in St. Louis. Uh, all right. So, I know that you are supposed to have um, a career that you wanted to choose. And I couldn't decide between uh, the careers that I wanted. So... You will see in the next clip the four careers that I could not choose between. And all of the books that I have chose will cover all four of the careers. I don't know if that's cheating or not. That wasn't one of the things in the rules. So if it is cheating, then I'll choose one. If it's not cheating and I uh, can do four owls, that would be awesome because my ultimate goal is actually to become a professor. But you have to pass seven owls and seven subjects. Uh, yeah, that may not happen, though, because I read rather slower than quite a few people on BookTube. Um, and this has to be done at the end of April. I am still in class for another two weeks in uh, my college classes. And that's a lot of reading and lesson plans and all of that stuff. So who knows? Um, so let me see. All right, this is, so they have PDFs you can print out that shows you um, the owls that you take and what book that you have to read with each owl. Like the, um, so here's the subject and then these are the descriptions of the types of books that you have to read. So in all four of the books that, um, or the careers that I chose, I'm going to give you the books that will cover those. Okay, so now I can give you all of the books. So my first um, subject is Ancient Ruins. In Ancient Ruins, you have to um, read a book with a heart on the cover or in the title. So currently, I am reading The Wedding Date that does have hearts in the titles, but I'm almost finished with that book. So I don't want to count it as part of my um, TBR. So I'm going to, if I can figure out how to get my Google, because Overdrive is not on this tablet. So what I need to do is go to my Google search engine and put it in the pro. Drag dog. Hold on a second. Sorry, my dogs are barking because our neighbors are going in and out of their house and they just 
don't understand where the noise is coming from. Okay, so for Ancient Ruins, read a book with a heart on the cover. And I chose The Proposal, which is the sequel to The Wedding Date. Okay. The second book is Arith Arithmacy. And that is read a book outside of your comfort zone. This was a book that was suggested to me by um, someone that I met only briefly, like for a week. And she's uh, super, super awesome. Um, and her and I actually clicked over uh, books because we were doing a um, food uh, delivery thing for the school district that we both work for and she was driving the bus and she saw me reading a book and we just clicked and started talking about books and this is called The Way It Is by Car uh, Kareem yeah the Kareem so I am going to read this um this is not a horror book and as you guys know I do sometimes go outside of reading horror um hence the first book that's on my list is a romance and I don't really read romances um and I was just decided to give that one a try and I kind of liked it so I'm going on to the second one so now I'm going to read this one which is not like I said not a romance so be kind of outside my comfort zone this shouldn't be a long read. It's 345 pages. Yeah. Nope. I like 347 pages. So there's that. Um, that's book two. Book three is Charms. And for Charms, that is a read a book with a white cover. And this book has been on several TBRs and I've only gotten, you know, partial way through it. I think I'm going to finish this and have this as my charms. Um, and that is It by Stephen King. Um, I do also uh, finally, finally was able to actually get the audiobook, which I had put in for back in... Oh, I think it was the end of September of 2019 and I finally got it and it is, um, what is this? April, <laughs> April of 2020. So that's how backlisted, uh, well, is it backlisted? But that's how big the list, the waiting list was for the audiobook. So with this band, such a thick baby, I am also going to be listening to this on audio. So doing a little reading and then doing a little listening. Um, cause that's like the only way I'm going to get through this with me still having work and children and everything. Um, all right, next let's move on. Um, defense against the dark arts read. What is this? Um, read a, as Grindelow's read a book set at sea or the coast. So I'm going to read The Water Dancer. I've seen this on a lot of TBRs, a lot, um, of wrap ups and, um, just all across booktube. So, and I, I believe this is an Oprah Winfrey, uh, book club choice as well. So I'm going to go ahead and give this book a try. I don't know much about it, but I don't know much about it on purpose. I don't, like to watch reviews uh, of wrap-ups or TBRs um, where there's so much detail that'll give things away for me. So I am going to read this myself without knowing much about it. Um, my dog is on the table. Drac! Dracula! Get off the table! I'm gonna have to go and bleach the table now. As soon as this video is over, I'm gonna go and bleach my table. All right. Next subject is Herbology, and Herbology is dun, 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 dun. read a book where the title starts with an M. Okay, so the book I chose where the title starts with an M is more scary stories to tell in the dark. I read the first one last year sometime. I can't remember. I think it was in June of last year. Um, and I finally got the second copy out of, um, my long, uh, TBR. Cause this was on my long TBR and I've had 
mounds and mounds of books. So when we moved and some of those had to be put in storage, I made sure I grabbed this one. And it was probably the only hard copy book that I have of a book with a name that started with an M. So it was very easy to pick that one. Um, next we have the History of Magic. And the History of Magic, it's Witch Hunt, books featuring witches and wizards. And of course, since this is an Owl's TBR based off Harry Potter, of course, I'm going to start my reread of the Harry Potter books. Yes, yes I am. So, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, and it's obvious that there's witches and wizards in this book. Next, I have... Muggle Studies. And for Muggle Studies, it is a book from a perspective of a muggle. It's a contemporary book. Um, I did some Googling because there are some thrillers that I have that are also on contemporary list. I don't know if this qualifies as contemporary. You can tell me in um, the description box below, but I have nothing to see here by Kevin Wilson. Um, I don't know much about this book at all, and it looked very interesting on my book of the month. So I grabbed it uh, in October, and I just hadn't had a chance to read it yet. So this will be my chance to read it. All right, next is Potions. Read a book under 150 pages. And for Potions, I have... Da, da, da. Probably should have stuff up when I know I'm need gonna need it all right so four potions I am reading a book in a series I believe this is the fourth book in the series um, and it's a Amazon Prime original series and where is it yeah here it is All right, let's go to the title page, though, so you guys can see. All right, so this is part of the Dark Corner series um, that are Amazon original short stories written by various different characters. Sorry, you can see the glow of my house and my TV through this book. But uh, it is called Mio Deo, Deo? Mio Dio? I believe I don't know um <laughs> and the author of this short story is Joyce Carol Oates um so yeah I really did bad with pronouncing that but um I've read the other books in the series um this is one of the ones I have left to read um and I think I have one other book left to read Ooh, that's a better that's a better view you don't get to see all the reflection there all right, so yeah, and there's one other book after this that's a part of the series, and then I'll be complete with the, the entire series. But it's an Amazon original uh, for Amazon Prime, so I was able to get the entire series for free to read, and I am almost done with that. And then last but not least, we have uh, Transfiguration, which is... Um, animagus lecture book series that includes shape shifting and um I actually had a hard time doing this because most of my books that include shape shifting are extremely thick books and with how long this tbr is I didn't want another thick book because it was enough for the entire tbr to be honest because it's so thick um so I chose The Wimpy Way Out, and I chose Beauty and the Beast. It is my favorite Disney princess uh, story. And of course it has to do with shape-shifting because the beast um, was a human who got turned into a beast um, that then at the end of the book turns back into a human once the curse is lifted. So that is my shape-shifting. All right, also, <laughs> If I don't get to every single book on this list, I have also doubled some of the books. So some of the books that I have can be doubled um, under two subjects. Now, I don't know if that is part of 
um, the rules if I am not allowed to double, if I am allowed to double. So just depending on how things go, this is how the books will be doubled, okay? So Ancient Ruins and Arithmacy could be the uh, proposal because romance is out of my comfort zone and um, which is arithmacy and it's also ancient ruins because it has a heart on the cover um in i think in the title below where it says the author of the wedding date and the heart was in that in case you didn't see it um also herbology and potions double because uh, more stories, more scary stories to tell in the dark is also less than 150 pages. So I could double those. Um, let's see. Shape shifting and charms can also be doubled because in the book It, Pennywise shape shifts several times. Um, so that could also be doubled, you know? Um, let's see. Yeah, so that's that's how I would double double the books to hit more than one subject if that is allowed if I am running out of time um, before the end of the month because as you can see this is again a very ambitious TBR but I really 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 wanted to participate in the owls. And the subjects that I got, I just could not figure out which career choice, not the subjects, the career choices I was looking at. I just could not figure out what career choice that I wanted to do. So, yeah, the, it's nine books total. And some of which I have also found audiobooks for that I can go back and forth with. Um, like uh, The Water Dancer, It, Harry Potter. I found um, and the proposal the proposal um, I found audiobooks for all of those to help me through this long thing so I can do both um, but yeah there's that so like I said if you want to participate in the, the owl CBR I will put the link in the description box of the amazing woman who started all of this and um, if you guys want to join in with us I believe you everybody can do it um, <laughs> so go ahead I think it'll be fun so I can't wait to start so that's all I have for you until next time bye